right, here we go. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. That is bright. That is really bright. Hi everyone, this is Heidi. And this is Franny. Welcome to Heidi and Franny's Garage, and we are at part three, part three, <laughs> of our three part series of the LED install. So thanks for coming back to see our last video. I think you will enjoy us, like I said, teetering around on ladders and doing some crazy stuff. Okay, so as a little recap, part one was our shop lights that we put in. We just replaced the standard four foot shop lights. Mm -hmm. Part two was installing a tape light underneath the lift to give us some light under the lift. And this episode is going to be about some kind of interesting ceiling lights that we got. They're for drop ceilings. They're two foot by four foot. So they're very, very bright, uh, close to 60 watts. So uh, they've got kind of an interesting way to mount and everything. Right. And we're just going to uh, plug them into our keyless fixture on the ceiling. So they just turn on with a light switch. I think they are considered industrial lights, which is why they give you the mounts to be able to put them in ceiling tiles. But since our garage just has a regular yeah. ceiling, we're going to have to hang them. So, um, right. Well, they came, they, you know, we have a kit for them to, to hang them from the ceiling. Right. So we didn't just sort of, you know, make something up and kind of rig it out. We, uh, no, we did that in the last video. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. So, <laughs> so this, this should be a fairly standard thing. So. Right. Right. Exactly. All right. So, okay. So this is part three. Very exciting. So that's up next on Heidi and Franny's garage. <laughs> okay. So these are the lights from, um, Super bright LEDs, and I'm just going to show the other side. So that's what they look like. They look like a ceiling tile. This Looks like great. a whiteboard. I like a whiteboard. <laughs> so, um, yep. can you pull that plastic out? Set it back down. Oh, sure. So these are designed for drop ceilings. Um, just sort of the standard hung drop ceiling. But they do have a provision, we had to actually buy extra hardware for it, where you can uh, put these mounts on it, like this guy here, and they give you all the equipment here, and you can string up a mount for this thing. It's a little strange, but basically goes like this. And then this other bit that's spinning around there with a screw on it, that will actually attach to the ceiling. You can adjust the height by pulling this cable through here. And um, and then yeah, I think you can lock this off at the bottom to get the thing all level. So it's a little crazy to, th so there'll be three mounts in the ceiling right along the center. I am a little worried about it rocking back and forth and moving around a little bit, but we'll... Um, yeah, wind never gets in the garage. I know, ever. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But <clears throat> next step's going to be to pull off all of these these little plates that came with it here, so the one. other five, there's one. and install the hardware. These are the electrical connections over here. Um, they come with uh, wire nuts, which is great, but these little breakout box holes here, they don't have any type of attachment for those, so we had to go out and buy attachments for those. So not the end of the world, but this box is a little loose. I think it was riveted in, I think. It's hard to say. I can't really tell, but I think it was just riveted in. I think the rivet's just a little bit loose. But it's at fine. least it won't matter. It's not going to have any load on it. No, so no, no. Yeah, yeah this, this is strictly just going to sit up there. So, okay. so that's, that's just, that's the next step here. So I'll go ahead and do all that. So this is the metal box that they're going to have you wire into. We bought um, an external plug for this, cable plug for this thing, so that we can hook it to our keyless fixture on the ceiling. But you can't just go through these holes without putting 
some type of adapter on that thing. So they make these, you've seen these probably all over the place if you've ever done any electrical work. It's a standard um, NM cable connector for um, allowing to put a cable like this or a, a wire, whatever, and hook it into your box and that way uh, there's no chance that your wire is going to get cut on the sharp edges of this box. So that's all I'm installing right now. And what size did we end up getting to go with this? We ended up with a 3 8 inch trade side, one half knockout. Which is funny because if you measure the hole, it says 3 quarters. Now this is a 3 quarter, or it actually says 7 eighths. This is a 3 quarter inch, same thing, but we just 3 quarter two, inch. Just to be on the safe side. And it won't go through the hole, not even close. And this is the next size up. So, um, oh well. So we were, we were, um, it was a good thing. We were good to buy the, half inch the smaller one fits. ones. It's not too small. Uh, it's just fine. Cool. This just goes through the hole. And then there's a little nut on the back side of it that clamps down. Great. So it doesn't go either, it goes either way, it looks like. Awesome. So it just clips on there like that. Actually, we got a pair of pliers to lock that down. And then the cable is going to go through there. Okay. And I'm going to wire it in, and that'll be that. Okay. Cool. I have to get a pair of pliers. So I think next what we're going to do is go ahead and get the, we still have the cars on the lift. So why don't we pull the cars down off the lift and that way we can actually use the lift and a ladder. We'll put these, we'll put these attachment guys to the ceiling. Then once we're all happy with that, we'll go ahead and hoist this thing up, screw them in, adjust the cables and plug them in and shoot fire. We should be just about done. Once we've got one of them up and we're happy with it, We'll go ahead and do exactly the same thing for the other one, as long as we got everything right on the first try. Mm -hmm. And uh, we should be done in short order. Okay, well the idea is to put one Toffler light here on this side and one on the other side. These little white lines and the dots mean that there's a stud up there. So that's super duper awesome. The It looks like the keyless fixture is just on the outside of the stud would be my guess. That's usually what they do. So we've got, we've obviously got the key light on one side, the keyless fixture light on one side, or whatever these things are called, and then the ceiling light. And then Heidi was pointing out that we need to leave a little bit of clearance over here on this side because we've got to get the tires down. Go for it. All right, so we're going to measure. We're on 22 inch, uh, we've got a center. And then we've got 22 inches on each side. We want to make sure that it's not rotated. So that's going to be a thing. But I think we can look right along these, this line and I think we'll be pretty close. So, okay. I will get up here carefully. Heidi's holding the ladder for me and spotting, which is great. Unfortunately, I have to get up to the second to the last rung on this ladder. What I'm going to need you to do is lift it up by the bottom right. and sort of flatten it out a bit. Right. Okay? Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you good? Uh-huh. All right. This is 
the middle one. The lift is actually a pretty good idea. Yeah, the lift is a great idea. Always oh, is a great idea, this lift. Then I think what I'm going to do is I'll hold it and you cinch up the cables. How's that sound? like just about perfect. And then we take our plug here and heal. Wow. joining us on this three-part journey that we did of installing the LED lights. This is basically a wrap-up. You have an opportunity to look at all the work that we have done in here. Mm -hmm. We've installed lighting. You saw the original lighting that we had before and so now we have these beautiful lights underneath and there's no noise anymore and everything is really really well illuminated on our workbench area and then up above here are the top floor lights up here on the ceiling and as you can see they are 7200 lumens and they do a fabulous job brightening everything up in here and then last of all LED tape lights that we put on the bottom of the lift and as you can see our Mini Cooper there is very well illuminated. So just wanted to show you that. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Heidi and Franny's Garage. Hit the bell if you want to be notified. Remember we usually have car related videos in this case it is Heidi and Franny's Garage and we wanted to show you how we can bring you better car related videos in the future. A little better lighting. So um, also, uh, if you've got any comments, what do you think of these lights? Are they pretty neat? Are they not neat? Were they too hard to install? What do you think? 
So we need to have some more lights we want to install on the walls and we want to kind of fill the ceiling with a bit more lights as well. Why don't you give us your thoughts on that and let us know what you think in the comment section down below. And we will answer the comments if you have questions as well. So, so that pretty much it. That pretty much wraps up this crazy uh, little adventure of the of the lights in the garage. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Um, we'll have more car related stuff coming out very soon as well. So, uh, okay. I think so we're gonna have a 356 video. Well, there's a 356 stuff coming up, and I know we have some. Yes. I have some stuff to do on the Ferrari yeah. and blah blah blah. So it's gonna be great Next fun. Next Saturday. Yep, it's gonna be great fun. So. Um, okay, as always, safe travels. We'll see you next time. Bye.